Hi, I'm Marilee from Raising Robust Readers, and I would like to show you how to use the phonogram High Five to teach phonogram Double E. It may seem like a lot to teach at first, but it's pretty easy to do once you get the hang of it. You do not need to spend 20 minutes teaching across the table. This will be far more effective and fun. Use these five points throughout the day to bring awareness to the phonogram and the sound it makes. Number one, hear it. Learn the ditty and associated gesture from the video below. Develop phonemic awareness by singing the double E phonogram ditty, or you can rap it to an older child so they hear it. Number two, see it. Show the phonogram symbol, double E says E. See it in written print. Continue to develop phonemic awareness as you emphasize the sound and the words you see around. At times, it takes no more than a minute as you walk past a street sign or see the speed limit. Let children find it on a Cheerios box or when you give them Cheez-Its at snack time. Number three, say it and play it. Beep your horn, creep around the house, play hide and seek, brush your teeth before you sleep. Number four, write it. Hear the sound, write it down. Add another pathway to the brain. Learn spelling patterns by building sound puzzles. Number five, enrich it. Introduce vocabulary words. Read books. Make connections. Watch the video at the end of this page to learn how a skunk reeks. Now let's review. Learn the song and gesture. Become aware of the phonogram and the words you see around. Then see it, hear it, say it, play it, write it, and enrich it. Download your copy of the Double E Phono Guide and the phonogram High Five from the links below. Have fun teaching phonogram Double E on the go wherever you go. Tune in again to our Wagen blog at RaisingRobustReaders.com where we make it fun to learn with Wordy Worm.